Welcome back everybody. It's now time for another networking how-to video. This time what we're going to do is build a voice over IP topology with a couple of working phones. Uh, by way of preparation, I'm going to use the previously configured DHCP and TFTP uh, router. So we do a show run here. We can see that these are the two uh, parts of my configuration that I put up in the other video. So there's the DHCP pools and I've got the TFTP stuff and I have my interfaces up and running here. That's about it. The topology, instead of having PCs in it, is going to look like this. You can see now that my router is going to be serving up DHCP and TFTP, but it's also going to be the call server. My switch, the important detail there is that it is going to be PoE. Now with a VoIP deployment, normally you would have lots and lots of VLANs uh, separating your, your wireless and your voice and your PCs. I'm not going to worry about that for right now because what we're concerned about is actually getting the phones to call each other. Now when you're building a voice over IP configuration, at least on a Cisco, there are primarily two parts that we're actually worried about. One is what the phones are doing. So you got to do a little configuration specific to the phones. And then what we're going to do is some configuration that's specific to the call server itself. So first up, we'll take care of the call server. I'm going to do telephony service. Note that my prompt has changed. And maybe we'll do next e-phones here and we'll just say five for right now and then we'll also do max dial, num dial numbers five we'll keep that the same oops spelling counts everybody now we have to tell the phones and the call server which interface to use and so what we also need is an IP source address here and we'll use 192.168.1.254. Cisco Skinny SCCP answers up on port 2000. So we're going to do that. Okay. We're good there. Um, I'm going to add a uh, system message to. Um, I didn't do any, the reason we're getting some error messages here is I haven't set the clock up and things like that. It's nice to have that. You should on a regular deployment, make sure that you've got NTP running, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. We're just trying to get some phones to talk to each other. That ought to pretty much do it for the call server side basic configuration. Note that this is a single call server and it's not talking to anybody else. All right. And if I forget anything, we can always just come back. So I'm going to do ePhone uh, in Cisco land, at least in the Call Manager Express. The phones are actually going to be called ePhones. And so our first dial number will do something like this. Okay. And we'll do the same thing, but with another ePhone. And we'll make this one like that. All right, so that gives me two e-phones, but that doesn't really help me too much. I haven't tied these phone numbers to a particular phone. So the next thing that I need to do is actually say, oh, look, e-phone 1 can be found at this particular MAC address. Now, there's a delimiter here of a period. It's a little weird way to break up, break up uh, MAC addresses, but that is Cisco. So we'll do that. And I'm also going to tell it that on button 1, we want you to use number 1. And we'll go out of this guy. And now we'll do ePhone 2, and I'm going to go through the same process. We need a MAC address for this guy, too. And these guys share some commonality here. Oops, 
Now, if I screw up the MAC addresses, Cisco's not very forgiving on this. Button number one is going to be number two. Okay. And if I haven't forgotten anything, theoretically that should get us taken care of. Now, if I, at this point, if I do a show ePhones, oops. Um, I can see that I've got them configured here, but obviously nobody's up and running. So now what I'm going to do is plug in my ePhones. There's one. And there's two. So now my phones are actually, uh, they're powered up and they're coming up via power over Ethernet on the switch. So all I did at this point was plug these two guys in. Now you can't see it, but the phones are coming up and really they're just going through their, their booting process. Now this video is not about how this whole thing works, but I will tell you that right now the phones are getting IP addresses from the DHCP server and then if they need to, they'll hit the TFTP server and pull configuration items down. So we're waiting for them to uh, register a little bit, still booting. You just saw the registration messages. And there we go. So now we see that the MAC addresses have, the, Mac, the phones with these MAC addresses have now pulled IP addresses from the scopes that I created earlier. Now for the the magic. I'm going to try and call one phone from another. So I picked up and hopefully you sound that, you heard that. Hello, 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 and we are operation. And that is about it for a Cisco basic call manager express configuration. Set up the e-phones, set up the telephony service, and you are ready to go as long as you've got that DHCP and TFTP also pre-built. Well, that's about it for this particular video. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks for listening. And remember, it's networking. You can do this.